Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to DigiCode Productions. Now, I saw one of those headlines today that kind of slightly disturbed me. Um, it said, it's as if Puerto Rico doesn't exist. Um, more than a week after the Category 4 storm has hit Puerto Rico, it still is entirely without electricity, without any communications of any kind. Um, on Monday, they shipped in the first 162 satellite light phones so that at least the emergency services can have some communications. Um, and on Tuesday, two people died because diesel ran out at hospital generators. Um, it's absolutely staggering. It's just been wiped off the map. Um, now, I know it's an island and it's obviously more difficult to um, sort of help people who are on an island. Um, it was only yesterday that they managed to contact the 78th municipality, for instance. Um, and a FEMA spokesman said that um, because the roads are damaged, um, that all of the relief supplies are piling up in the ports. Apparently there's 600 containers of relief supplies sitting in the ports and they actually haven't gone anywhere. Um, now, I think in consideration of how well FEMA dealt with both Florida and Texas, it's really... They need to jump up a gear or two here. There's 3.4 million Americans living in Puerto Rico. And I do hope they get the same kind of response as people who are from Florida or Texas. Um, it's absolutely incredible that so little has happened for them in such a long period of time. Um, the last of the drinking water ran out yesterday. Um, even the police, their emergency radio system is down. Um, and it could take up to six months to reconnect power to the major parts of the island. Absolutely horrific. Do hope they speed this one up. Thank you very much.